Dear students, today we are going to see about designing a learning system. How the learning system will be designed? What are the steps are there? That we are going to discuss today. So, designing a learning system consists of five steps that we will otherwise we'll call it as basic design its use and approaches to ML. The first step is choosing the training experience that is the main thing because based on the experience only the performance is going to increase because the machine will learn based on the experience so choosing the training experience is may first step then we have to choose the target function to represent it then choosing the representation of the target function okay first they have to choose the target function then what representation we are using to uh, for representing the target function then next is choosing the function approximation algorithm. So by based on estimating training values and we are going to adjust the weight. And final design. Okay, we will see one by one. The first one is choosing the training experience. Already we know it is having more impact in the designing a learning system. So the type of training experience can have a significant impact on success or failure of the learner. Okay, so based on suppose the training experience, uh, they have learned, the machine learned some uh, 100 years, some uh, uh, one, two, 5 years, 6 years learned but, uh, through, through the data. But it didn't learn anything. The performance is not all improvement, so that's a waste. So the type of training experience can have a significant impact on success or failure of the learner. There are three attributes which impact on success or failure of the learner. The first one is whether the training experience provides direct or indirect feedback. First one is whether it provides direct or indirect feedback. Next is the degree to which the learner controls the sequence of training examples. Okay, so that is what rightly the trainer is controlling the sequence of training examples or only the learner is doing that everything is based on that. Then how well it represents the distribution of examples. That is also important. We will be having them thousand data sets in that how many data sets should be used, how many data sets we have taken for training and how many we have taken for testing and so on. Then first we will see one by one. So whether the training experience provides direct or indirect feedback regarding the choice made by the performance system because we know that final design will be having performance system. So if I will take the checkers learn game, the so system might learn from direct training example consisting of individual checkers board states and correct move for each. Okay, individually he will learn correct move for each and every correct move, what is will be the correct move and the game uh, checkers board states, what are the different states, everything uh, they will want to learn from the training examples. So, indirect training examples consist of the move sequences and final outcomes of various games played. Okay, that is a thing. Then, this is a direct training feedback is typically easier compared to indirect training feedback. Then second impact is attribute is training experience is a degree to which the learner controls the sequence of training examples. So the, there are three things the learner might depends on the teacher based on the teacher guideline the checkers uh, the, 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 the I mean learner will select in the state the next stake uh, in the board. Okay first one based on depends on the teacher. Next is ask the teacher for correct move. Okay, so what is the thing means? One thing is the teacher will be, uh, the teacher is going to play the game. So by seeing the teacher, the learner can understand uh, each and every uh, step, every state, this will be the next move. That is first one. The second one is the learner is going to play the game with the help of teacher. Each and every state, the teacher is going to help the learner because this is the state. So if it is like this, you have to move to the next, the next move will be like this. And like that, the teacher is going to guide. 
and the next third one is without teacher there is no teacher that is based on the first that is, there will be one state the person will uh, select the next move then it based on that its failure and success rate the person is going to learn so these are three uh, uh, methods the person is going to learn one is with that uh, by depends on the teacher next is with the guidance of teacher third one is with uh, no teacher present individually he is going to learn then next thing is <coughs> So this we know that is the next important thing is the distribution of ex, uh, examples. Okay, that is important. So there is distribution of examples are important because we'll be having the vast amount of training examples. In that how much will be used for testing, training and then how it will be distributed. Everything will be taken uniformly. That are very very important and they are having more impact on the uh, for uh, choosing the training experience. Then next, after the person will be trained, then the then uh, we next we choosing the target function. We have to choose the target function. So to determine exactly what type of knowledge will be learned and how it will be used by the performance program. So we have we should know some way to represent the knowledge to be learned by the system or user. So the how to make it means for example we will take the checkers learning problem. So for which we are going to use best search strategy is not known. Okay this is because each time there will be a legal move and illegal move. So this based on the thing we are going to tell. Let us choose move to be the target function and notation used to suppose we want to move from the state B to M means B. The legal board state is B and produces and move to the next move is M. Okay, legal move is M. So, this we will represent the function, target function like this. Choose move, colon, B, move to the legal moves M. Okay, so learn kind of indirect training example. Okay, it is very difficult to open the kind of indirect training example. Direct training example is very easy to represent it. So, for example, the uh, alternative target function is we have used evaluation function that assigns a numerical score to any given board state. Each state, board state, there will be a numerical score value will be assigned. So, for example, the target function V and the notation V, the function is V, such that V defines R. V is uh, the board state, then R is next move. Because each and every move, every uh, state, there be is a st every state, there will be a numerical value will be assigned. That numerical value is called a set of numerical values or R. Okay. So, this is the thing. Then, and how to choose the target function uh, for the target value V of B for an arbitrary board state B in B. B is a board, the checkers game, learners problem game as follows. If B is a final state, okay, B is a final state. Final state means there will be in, there is no move. Then it has to be one or it has to be lose. So, so B is the final state means that is one. So then B of B equal to hundred. If B is the final state, but that is last. Last means we are representing the target function V of B as minus hundred. If final B is a final state that is drawn. Drawn means it will be a neutral. So, V of B equal to 0. If B is not a final state in the game, then what we are going to do? We have to move to the next state. Next legal state. That is called as V of B dash. Now, V of B dash should be taken as a V of B. Okay. So, B is the best final board state that can be at starting from B dash is the best final state. Starting from B and playing optimally until uh, end of the game that is a thing until the final state is reached that b b b b v of b will be assigned to v of b device and so on then choosing the representation of the for the target function so the target function representation we have to choose so that what other things means for example we have to calculate the linear combination of the uh, following board features we should take the features of board the first one is x1 so the then the board there will be a number of black pieces and the red pieces so x1 be the number of black pieces on the board and x2 will be the number of red pieces in the board board x3 will be the number of black 
kings on the board. X4 is number of red kings on the board. X5 is number of black pieces threatened by red. Then X6 is number of red pieces threatened by black. Okay. So, this is the thing. So, the how we can represent means linear function V of B cap of B equal to W0 plus W1 X1. W0 we, we know that weight, initial weight assigned plus W1 X1. X1 